Hello everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs and today I will cover question 8 in our series regarding statistics. Let's begin. A manufacturer of wins blouses has noticed that 80% of their blouses have no flaws, 15% of their blouses have one flaw, and 5% have two flaws. If you buy a new blouse from this manufacturer, the expected number of flaws will be, and then a series of numbers. So this just goes back to what we talked about in our last presentation, uh, expected value. How do we calculate expected values? It's very similar to weighted means or weighted averages. So I'm going to calculate this out in this next slide. So there's 80% chance of no flaws. So there is an 80% chance of no flaws. So we take the zero flaws and multiply that by the 80% chance and so we get a zero for that. That's our weighted average or expected value for the no flaws. The, then we have a 5% chance of having two flaws, which will go down here. So two times 5% equals our 0.10. So that's, we, that's one of our expected values. And then we have a 15% chance of one flaw. So we just take one times 15% and get our 0.15. Then we're just going to add all of these up because these are all of our expected values at, uh, at this flaw level. So zero times 80% equals zero. So that's for our zero flaws. One times 15% equals our 0.15. That's for our one flaw. Two times 5% equals our 0.10. So that's for our two flaws. Then we take our zero plus our 0.15 plus our 0.10 to get an average of 0.25 flaws per blouse. So out of every four blouses, you'll get about one flaw. Now, there is no 0.25 here, so the answer is none of the above. I hope this made sense. If you have any questions regarding this, please feel free to write in the comments below or to write on my Twitter. Again, we just covered expected values and how to calculate expected values when given percentages and numbers. Um, if you like this information, please subscribe to my channel, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.